On Bravo's newest reality show, Real Girlfriends in Paris, six young expats from the United States try to navigate their lives far from everything they have ever known, something many millennials can relate to. What started as a trip for Emily Gorlick, Margot Lignal, Adja Tour, Victoria Zito, Anya Firestone, and Casey Margot turned out to be a journey to self-discovery. As the six women navigate the streets of Paris, they are forced to confront their insecurities and goals for a happy life. While RGIP, which proves America loves French culture, is only a few episodes into its first season, it's clear the show will not focus on drama as much as other Bravo staples, such as the Real Housewives franchise or Summer House. Instead, Real Girlfriends in Paris focuses on the inner workings of the minds of 20-somethings, trying to make their mark in a new city, while still trying to remain true to themselves. It touches on topics of financial stability, sexual orientation, and finding love, among other things, that are highly palpable in today's society. Real Girlfriends in Paris is a different take on a standard reality show, as seems more poignant and relatable to individuals who crave something with a bit more substance. It teeters between documentary and reality television, as the women display a more serious demeanor compared to other shows in the genre, while also maintaining the fun and bubbly side of life in Paris. However, at the heart of Real Girlfriends in Paris is that the topics being discussed are issues millennials deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, minus the backdrop of a stunning European city. New city, same struggles in Real Girlfriends in Paris, small-town Texan Victoria currently works for an up-and-coming designer in Paris after graduating from Parsons with dreams of becoming a fashion designer. In the Real Girlfriends in Paris premiere episodes, Victoria expresses her fear of coming out as bisexual to her family while she begins developing feelings for another female. The women surround her in support, but the rest of the women have insecurities of their own, and most millennials can relate to what they are dealing with. Margot struggles with applying herself in her career, considering her parents funded her life and provided her with everything she needed. Casey has issues finding someone to date and is let down when the guy she has an interest in does not show up to an outing. Like Casey, Adja feels the same way about dating as she tells her aunt that she does not feel secure in relationships, given the examples she's seen in her life. Real Girlfriends in Paris is a tasteful reality show, considering most of the Real Girlfriends in Paris cast ranges between the ages of 22 and 25, except 32-year-old Anya, this show makes them the youngest primary cast on Bravo, drawing in a younger audience. The topics being discussed are extremely prevalent to not only young women trying to establish themselves in the world, but to millennials as a whole. Real Girlfriends in Paris shows that even if someone appears to be living lavishly in fashion, love, and life, there are always insecurities lurking beneath the shiny exteriors. Real Girlfriends in Paris airs on Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Bravo.